starter boat from a 3,000 hour from the depths play. Did I flex? Recently, I made a nuclear bomber. And sadly, most of what it did was just push ships with the nuclear explosion. And so that spurned uh, a lot, a lot of comments asking for an Orion drive, a theoretical drive that uses nuclear explosions to propel something. So I'm making that. So if I make this hold at bare minimum 51. What the hell? And I blow that up, it will push it. However, it will do no damage. So we'll go with a two second delay. And then we're going to set this to God mode so we don't fuck something up badly. I, I've made these mistakes before. If, if we say to go forward, separate. I'm building my vehicle backwards. Right. Uh, it, it works. Sweet, it works. Uh, now let's just make this like a really weak hovercraft and see how well it works in the air. Or in space. Eh, it's gotta be in space. Why the hell wouldn't it be in space? It's an Orion drive. That's literally a space word. Everyone knows. To space. Where's my space? Where's space? Why aren't we going to space? I have strictly commanded you to go to space. Oh. I typed the wrong space number in the wrong space space. <gasps> space! Alright, why is this called the Orion 2? Uh, I just thought that'd be kind of cool. All right. Space. Oh, shit. That's a lot of momentum. Now that we're in a nice open area where we can properly test this. Let's get freaky with our Orion drive. All right. Forward. It really wasn't, that really wasn't that much of a, that sucked. Come on, janky physics, don't fail me now. Does this, this is a separate vehicle right here. Does this really affect our speed? This will be it. The Ryan won. It was enslaved and turned into a repair core. That's dramatic lore, that's lore. Or, I like how I made it into god mode and it's not god moding! <laughs> oh, oh, it's just because the thing is separating off. Whee! It's really effective, I would hope. It's 2,500 materials every time that- it's like 2,500 materials a second, pretty much. It really sucks, actually. It really sucks, actually. This waveform right here looks like Saddam Hussein. The punished Orion. <laughs> I kind of want to make this like a like a horrifying flesh and metal machine that's powering the whole thing. Like it's truly an ancient uh, ship that's been imprisoned by this thing and is using it as fuel. I couldn't just make a normal ship, could I? Actually, never mind. This ship was never normal, but you know what I mean. You don't. Uh, this is unlike anything I've ever done, but, you know. Science. <laughs> Looks so weird. It will be a cool way to make nukes, like, actually interesting and written this game. As if the way you built nukes was similar. So there are refineries in this game, and... They have to be kept steady and above water and at an even altitude or they just explode. If you tip them, they explode. So basically what you have to do with them 
is make them on structures behind your defensive lines. And then you can use that to distribute resources. What if nukes could only be built like that? Like if during the process of building it, the nuke tipped or went up or down, it immediately went off and it's like a massive radius. So the way you have to do it is basically build it behind lines on a structure and then transfer it onto your ship. And then you can actually have like a fair and balanced nuke with the crazy big blast radius. Why does every game in space have dragon space? From the depths, Factorio, space engineers, they all have drag in space. I need to make my ship cosmodynamic to cut through the drag. They launch right before getting there. Now we just rank up the speed until it works right. Okay, we have semi-consistent, like 90-ish. Perfect, it's beautiful. For reference, I wonder what a custom jet engine costs the same amount. A run. Oh god, this takes... This takes 2,500 material a second. Oh god. Consistently giving me better speeds than the other one. Despite it being debuffed by being in space. And unlike the nuke drive which costs 2,500 materials per second. This one costs 50. And this is the least efficient jet engine I could make. Other than if I removed the air intake and just had it, like, I, I guess just propel itself based on vibes with no air intake. You know, like jets do. At the cost of being slower and less consistent and a massive vulnerability and 500 times the price, it's more compact. Oh, oh, and breaking my own ship. It still does damage to my ship. I don't get what causes it to explode. I mean, I know it's the nukes, but like... I was told nothing could go wrong. It's super inconsistent. But it sometimes just blows half its back off. I don't get it. Uh oh. Blew itself up again. Can't deny the ship's got aura. I'm... Oh, it blew itself up. I, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure the aura is radiation, but. Uh, it interrupted me by uh, dying. Oh, my spaceship is so much faster than I, now that it's aerodynamic. All right, this is a, a bit too silly and janky and uncontrollable and doesn't look honestly cool enough to put into a proper ship. I do want to make a giant spaceship. I have a vision. And it's been partially inspired by some things I've seen here. But I'm going to save that for later. And just call this. Uh, I succeeded. I succeeded in making the Orion Drive that I put out to make. Uh, but there is no way that I will ever, ever make this good and safe and reliable. I, I did make it safer. I, I figured out the issue and I added a fail safe that prevents it from blowing up prematurely. But I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was one uh, a very, very heavily suggested suggestion. So if you have any suggestions of your own, leave them in the comments below or drop them in the suggestions channel of my discord. I'm much more likely to respond there. But yeah. Either way, thank you for watching and have a nice day.